is the 13th of the 6th, 2012. This is today's climate change update. I'm going to start off tonight as a little shout out to my fellow YouTubers and news channels out there. I know times are grim right now. There's a lot of things going on. Whew, keep shining that light. That's all we can do. Keep swinging. That's all we can do. Let's get started. Sop.net. Waters near Osaka Bay, Japan turn yellow. At this moment, people in Osaka and Kobe are tweeting the color of Osaka Bay looks strange. From the picture, it looks pale yellow. And from reports from local citizens, it's become strange color before the Great Hanshin earthquake in 1995 as well. well they might want to stay informed just in case. Unusual dolphin stranding on Texas coast prompt inquiry. The deaths of more than 120 dolphins in Texas coast have prompt, prompted a federal agency to declare the event unusual and launch an investigation into whether they were related to a drought-related algae bloom or a more widespread mortality event that has plagued the northern Gulf of Mexico for two years. Hmm, I wonder what that could be. Uh, update, High Park con Fire Containment will come soon, but control is months away. Um, these are the fires up in Alaska. They're saying they're trying to get a break around the head, and they've got to strategically place their limited resources into fighting this fire. And all they got there, they're trying to pin down the monster at, anchor, at an anchor point, building a line flank in the best and pinch off its head for total containment. Um, so they got a plan, but the winds have changed. Southern half of Western Australia braces for second cyclone, 125 kilometer an hour blasts of wind. And they've got videos out on that, of course. A rare tornado hit Venice um, on the 12th, around 11 a.m. yesterday, a tornado hit Venice in Italy. Initial reports indicated that trees were damaged, market stalls overturned, and some buildings were damaged. No injuries have been reported, and they have a good video of that as well. Uh, China's Wuhan city covered in sudden, mysterious yellow haze. A thick yellow cloud covers a busy intersection in uh, Wuhan on June 11th. Uh, was blanketed by a thick yellowish cloud on Monday, raising fears polluting among the 9 million inhabitants. Residents told AFP witness said the, the haze appeared suddenly in the morning and residents rushed to put on face masks. The government actually put out on alerts, uh, people with breathing, old and young people stay inside kind of thing. Uh, there was also rumors about a major chemical uh, accident outside the city, but uh, of course there's no official reports on that either. But it's a mystery. And, uh, uh, Afghans fear 80 dead after quake triggers landslide in that big high mountainous region. And, of course, uh, we all know uh, Guatemala's volcano Fuego erupted again, second time this year. Over to the Watchers, uh, brewing tropical storm uh, Guchol. G-U-C-H-O-L flooded southern Philippines. Uh, it is definitely on track right into that soupy mess uh, in the eastern Pacific. Or western Pacific, I guess. Yeah, out by Japan and stuff. And uh, Palisades Power Plant, one of the first worst nuclear power plants in the United States, has been shut down. I reported upon uh, on this one earlier. Uh, they found pin links in one of the cooling pools uh, they used to cool the reactors. Uh, basically, they uh, can't find or they found a bunch of leaks, and they've got to shut it down, drain the tank, patch the holes, fill it back up, test it again, and see if they go. But uh, Palisades is one of the worst-rated nuclear reactors in the United States. And that's about all I want to cover on there tonight. Let's just go ahead and go over to the nuclear stuff, e, e News. TEPCO still unable to find where water is leaking out of reactor number two. No sign of melted fuel. Images failed to show a big gap in temperatures. Well, I wonder why. The fuel has gone through containment and into the ground. 
and is now leaching out into the Pacific Ocean through the water table system. And uh, Japan has become a huge toxic nuclear tea bag seeping into the Pacific Ocean. And the ocean currents are doing what they do. And uh, we are paying for that. 300 times more radiation released into the atmosphere from burning debris than claimed by government. I've been going on about this since they announced they were going to do it. They're not using any special filters. They're using the regular um, soot filters on these incinerators that were not designed to handle uh, nuclear waste. And I've heard several reports where they're uh, running a lot higher than normal um, or allowable uh, nuclear um, burning and uh, they're going ahead and burning it anyway and people are wondering what all this mysterious black ash um, and stuff is spreading around Japan. The dust monitoring and fallout investigation are evidently fake and we've known this for a while. TEPCO's been lying. Uh, they can't stop the truth that is leaking out of what is Fukushima. Local officials, so many people have sore, scratchy throats. I feel uneasy about the amount of airborne radioactive substances. You know, remember, we got high school kids over there right now today cleaning up in Fukushima Prefecture and uh, showing the signs of uh, recovery so they can come back here and spread all that love around. Uh, we've got a well-known Japanese actor leaving the country because of spent fuel pool number four at Fukushima and burning of debris. And uh, here you go. They got an analyst saying the cost of admitting the truth about Fukushima is so great that Japan won't admit it. Enough to make you question whether to live in Tokyo. Well, I can tell you, don't live in Tokyo. Get out of there. Get out of Japan. The Northern Hemisphere, but there's really nowhere to run anymore. Um, back when, 16 months ago, uh, the plutonium was, was put out in aerosol form. I was picked up by monitors in Europe uh, where they detected plutonium and aerosol form in the atmosphere and uh, we have a radiation spike that goes around the globe every 40 days or so. It's just things to keep up with when you're looking at the big picture. Fukushima woman to officials, I started to suffer from various health problems one after another since last June. Exactly the same as those found in the villages around Chernobyl. And, uh, yeah, it goes on and on and on and on and on and on. And it will go on and on and on and on and on. And, uh, all we can do is shine some light on what's really going on out there. I encourage you, I encourage you, get this out into the mainstream. The more videos we put out with silly titles and, uh, news stories that we find about where they're lying and what's really going on, uh, the better off we will be. And I have no idea what we can do about this. None. So I'm going to continue to do what I do. I pray you continue to do what you do. Enjoy what you can. Laugh and smile every day and appreciate those little things. They really are worth it. Thanks.